Well, live weather report from Antarctica. It's 30 degrees right now with really strong winds. I've not felt cold weather in quite some time, so I'm not used to it. But we've been fishing for about an hour and a half so far today. We've caught one, like, that was small, you said. That was a decent fish, though. That was like a 20-inch fish, but we're, we're swinging for the fences right now. We're swinging for the six-pound giant, so we're not really all too interested in those four and a half, five pounders, as disgusting of a sentence as that is. We really, really, really want to break my personal best because this is the best place on the planet to do it. So we fished a couple spots, like I said, and we're now going to switch spots again, try to get out of the wind more and more. We keep moving farther and farther out of the wind because it's going to get brutal out here, especially as the day builds. It's like nine o'clock right now. First day of two. Hopes are still high since we've already caught one. There's not a ton of bass in this lake. They're just really damn big. So are we doing a secret right now? No secret, bud. This is going to tell us what's down here. So we fished again for a couple hours. There's actually a lot of people out here where we moved to. A lot less windy, but we can see a lot of fish down there. They're just not biting. So Seb's putting down an underwater camera, a little aqua view. Yeah, hey, hey, what did I call it? You see it? Oh my, you can see the fish. It's logs, there's no fish, they're spooked because they put words right on them. So that's what we just snagged, that log. Oh dude, he's right there. Yeah. Look at the smallmouth. <laughs> yeah. Dude, they're big. You obviously can't see too well, but you can see just enough to give you a lot of vital information. It is indeed a big log down there, and there are a lot of fish down there. They're just really scattered, some are suspending. They're just in a very negative mood, and they're not eating. We are, we are one of five boats fishing this ridge, and we haven't seen a single fish caught in almost two hours, so. Welcome to Lake Simcoe. Welcome to Lake Simcoe. Oh. We, know, we know that in the lake right now, because that's where we were this morning, like on the first bass we caught a fish, it's just really rough out there. Yeah, we're not no longer in the main lake. We're in the one like big main bay. This is like the big community hole. Yeah, right? Kempenfeld. it's just Kempenfelt Bay. Yeah. Anyone that's fished this lake kind of gets the idea. We're in the big long bay where everyone's fishing. But these are these fish way more spooky than the ones on the main lake. No, but you saw we marked we marked them with a graph, and as soon as we, the boat stopped over them, they disappeared, and then they came back to see the camera. Yeah. They don't like the boats hovering over them. All right, so I think what we're gonna do, like I said, we're gonna pull out, get warm get some food in us, then head back out for the evening sesh, which should, fingers crossed, be fruitful. Fish? Pleasant weather we're having out here, eh, Seb? Woo, baby! We just, we just got jumped. back out we here. Just over there. Where? We're over there. Well, this wind is shit. I apologize if the wind is as terrible as I think it is. Where's the net? That might be a big fish, Chris. I didn't see him yet, but he's fighting. Oh, he is digging on your ass, dude. Usually they don't. <laughs> he is kicking your ass right now. He is. Dude, <laughs> look at how he ate that swim bait. Just gone. <laughs> gone. That's a six inch swim bait. <laughs> Again, not that big? No. No, I don't think the big ones are here yet. Dude. Still. Look at that. Get the, where's that tape measure out? Just to show people how long she is. Cause it's always deceptive on That's film. like 19. Yeah. That's not that big of a small mouth. It's not huge. So that's 19 and like, 19 and a quarter. Yeah, 19 and a half. 19 and a half Not ish. close. So we're gonna release him quick because he came from deep. Right here. See you, bud. Go, right back down. And now it's snowing. Yep. Hell yeah. It is cold. It's better, it's better when it snows than raining. Yeah, that is true. You got another one? Yeah. What the hell? Dude, that is not small. Are you kidding me? Yeah, it's <laughs> Where's the net? Where it should be. Right here. That's, that's five and a half. Want me to lift them? Net, net, net. net. Ah. There you go. That's, that's a little better. That's where you come single for. That thing is so fat. So. 
Sorry guys, my camera got nudged a little there. I don't know what the angle was during that fight. That's a tubby. Yeah. Still not six. No, still not six, but that's the biggest one of the day. That's gotta be close to five pounds. Huh. 5.0? Or 535. When you catch a thief like this, you gotta make sure they go. They go down quick right away. Super healthy. You go down. Good He's job, man. He's all the weight. All right, we gotta, we gotta see. He's backpacking the team right now. I gotta get on the board. I finally got a bite, guys, and it is a big one. It's jumped like three times and it can't even get his body out of the water. My GoPro died seconds before I hooked it. Oh. She's not quite six pounds, but it's a big one nonetheless. Dude, look at that. Look at this, this is so cool. Look at how they eat the swim bait here. These things are feeding up. Again, this fish isn't even that big. It's just another fish that's like four, it should be only like three and a half pounds, but it's really close to five. Okay. Beauty. My first bass from the fabled Lake Simcoe, and I honestly cannot get over how fat these fish are. So when these actually grow to 21, 22 inches, that's when they get to like seven, eight pounds, right? Cause this is, yep. there's no way this is even 20 inches. Yeah, it's barely 19. Look at that. Barely a 19 incher and just a football. In she goes. Okay, Seb, I can catch him. That's a good thing. Now we need to get more, the big one. See, look at this. They left a nice present on Sebastian's carpet here. That was one he caught. And what it's this color means they're eating herring, yes? Yep. So this is herring poop. Yeah. That's not poop. crawfish poop. No. They are feeding up big time on the big minnows that Lake Simcoe is filled with. All right, let's get back out there. All right, we're back out here. It's not, whatever's falling right now, it's not falling too hard. It's a strange mix of like rain, it's sleet. I don't know why I'm, acting like there's not a word for it. There's a word for it. This is sleet, yes? It's, it's like a boat. Yeah, it's a rain-snow mix. It's sleet. It's icy. Now, all we're doing is drifting because it's kind of the only way to fish because we're fishing so deep. We're fishing in 35, 40 feet of water. The water temp's already 49 degrees. These fish are basically in their wintering holes. And uh, this is the only way to get at them. I mean, they're still very hungry. They're choking these swim baits, and we're moving very fast, pretty much two miles an hour. So... They are still hungry. You just gotta get a presentation that gets down to them. There. There's not many fish, but every fish we've marked, we caught. Yeah, they're biting right now with this weird weather. The cold fronts in the fall, they suck to fish in. Don't get me wrong, but it's very worth it because it can often turn the fish on. Okay, well, next drift, just as we were reeling up. That's why you reel in slowly, eh? Yeah. Oh, see that bite? Yeah. <laughs> It's minty, bud. It's minty. It's minty, buds. Minty, bud. If you guys didn't know, minty. Good. It, it's it good. mint is good. It Perfect. is absolute Canadian slang from Ontario to BC. Things are minty. That's a big fish, Chris. Fighting like a big fish. Oh, it's a good fish. Big fish. Good fish. Oh, that's big fish of the day, my friend. Is that one six? That's, That's pretty six damn pounds. close. That's six pounds. <laughs> Here you go. Hold your fishy. That is nuts. So that 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 fish is very close to six pounds. Just because of the belly. Look at the fins. That's that's a that's a giant. That's a big one. Let's see how much she weighs. Let's see how much she weighs. She's not. What, five and a half? Five eighty. Five seventy. So out of curiosity and what a fish from this lake that's like 0.25 from six pounds, how long it is? Look, he's not even 20 inches. It's not even 20 inches. Not even a 20 inch fish. That's a 19 and a half inch fish that's going 5.8 pounds. Okay, back in she goes. They got so much energy. 
For those of you just absolutely obsessed with big smallmouth and smallmouth fishing like me, that is insanely fat for how long it is. Sub, we're so close to six. <laughs> we are so close hey, to six. Hey, whoa, whoa, time out. They're getting bigger and bigger. They're getting bigger and Next bigger. Next one should be six. That's one. Yep, that's one. Yep, that's one. Dude, it, it, I thought it was grass. Oh boy. It ate it so weird. Dude, every single drift, man. We're not even on the good drift yet. No, every single drift. I don't think it's that big. Oh my god, it's jumped way out there. Uh, you don't know. I don't. She's coming up. She's coming up. She's coming up fast. It's not very big. Not very big. It's still a good fish, though. Dude, that is small. Yeah. Pop right off. Yeah, Seb, you just keep catching all the five and three quarters, and I'll stick to the little two and a half pounders. Okay. That's three pounds. Yeah, just because of how fat it is. Yeah. Back down she goes. All right. On to the next. Just cast back out, right? This way. That way. Which way? That way. Got another, dude. What? Got another. <laughs> <laughs> I just let it out. I just let There's it back no out. Bottom yet. Dude, I have another. I don't know what to tell yeah. you. That's awesome. I just closed my bail. Yeah, I bet you did. <laughs> I just closed my bail. They are so hot, dude. Yeah. Dude, for how crummy the weather is, this is the most fun I've had bass fishing in quite a long time. <laughs> Smallmouth on swim baits is so fun. <laughs> yeah. Are you there? That is not a big fish. That'll be grow to be a big fish. It will grow to be a big fish. They're fat from from here. Yeah. Come on, Big Bertha. What are some names you call the big smallmouth here? Big Bertha. Big Bertha. Um. God. There's got to be some really Canadian Shaniqua. names for these Shaniqua. fish. Shaniqua. Yeah. Leroy. Leroy. Yeah. The big one. <laughs> All right. I'd gladly catch Shaniqua or Leroy. That's a fish, dude. That's, that's the a fish. One. That's a big one. Dude. That's I just one. ripped it off the bottom. That's a that's, big one. Dude, that took out drag when he hit. That's Please don't one. jump. Please don't jump. Please don't jump. You're up down. You're up down. Please. Oh my god, it's huge! It's it huge! It it's huge! <laughs> There's another one there. Dude, the fish came up down. from 35 feet of water to jump. So hard to tell. I can see him. I don't know if it's huge, huge. It just hit you really hard. Yeah. The problem is. Jump again. It's, a good fish. it's not a six. That's a good fish, though. It's a five. It's not a six, I don't think. I don't know, it's pretty fat, dude. It's pretty big. Oh, you always think they're huge when they jump because they're so That's fat, a fish. they can't make it out of the water. That's hey, good move fish. coming back here. <laughs> That's yeah. the one we just marked. Let's weigh it. it. Might be over five. I think it's over five. I don't, I don't know about six. It's 560. She's still 560? 570. Oh, we are so close. So close, but that's a 26 and a half pound bag right there, if not more. Gotta give this fish the proper camera time she deserves. They are so incredibly fat here. This is an incredible fishery. The fact that this is not even that big of a smallmouth for this lake. That's the crazy thing. I mean, this is a trophy pretty much anywhere you go. It's a five and three quarter pound smallmouth, 5.7. It's the second one we've caught that's been like 5.7, 5.8. We are so close to that six pound mark. All right, just took some great pictures. Down she goes. All right, we still have some time left in the day. That was awesome. Seb, thank you so much. Again, I'm going to leave all his information down below. You guys have to check out his awesome YouTube channel. I have so many videos from here around Ontario and Lake Simcoe. But he also, on a very rare occasion, is a fishing guide on Simcoe for Somalia. So if you want to get out here and do this and catch these huge fish, definitely be sure to reach out to him. 
So we're just about to set up again, and this is how spoiled he is with smallmouth. He goes, all we have to do is catch a seven pounder. We got almost 30 pounds. Yeah, just, just catch a seven. Like that's something easy and simple to do. Just catch a seven, eh? Happens a lot here. You have one? Yeah. <laughs> just as I was saying, this has to be the best big smallmouth lake. Don't. That's big. Oh my God. <laughs> that thing is six. That has to be the biggest one of the day. You think so? Yes. That thing is long, dude. So hard to tell. Yeah, it, it actually is really hard to tell by now. Let me get this in super quick. God, I don't... So, look at this. Tag fish. He was tagged. Used to be tagged? Yeah, so he's got, he, he was caught before. That is 520. Let's see. What do you got? Wow, you're way too good at guessing weights. 520. <laughs> Damn it. I thought that was our six. I'm getting, I'm so bad at guessing weights. So we're gonna put him back real quick. And he shoot wow. right back down as soon as it does water. Dude, this day's getting ridiculous. I didn't even want to take out the big camera for a 5.2 pounder. <laughs> Let's go, I've got some more. When you're having one of these type of days, you just really gotta sit back and enjoy it because it is not always like this. I mean, we struggled hard this morning, really hard. Those fish just weren't biting. These fish are biting. Well, we came here in the morning. Oh yeah, we caught two in the morning. Yeah, it was just too windy. Super fashionable Chris coming at you guys right now. I don't know what the hell I look like. Probably like, I probably looked like hell, but I'm warm and that's all that matters. That was an incredible day. Obviously I had, to be honest with you guys, I had decently high expectations. I mean, I've talked, I've talked you guys' ears off about how much I love this lake and how incredible of a smallmouth fishery it is. And although it did not produce a six pound fish, it produced two over five and three quarter and we really did not fish that much today. And we have a full day tomorrow to hit the entire lake. We were really limited today because of how windy it was. I mean, this is a giant lake. I mean, it is, as far as the eye can see, it's just lake for the most part. So very big water, but tomorrow's gonna be low winds. I'm very excited what we pull out of the lake tomorrow. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. That was a really fun day for me catching all those big fish on a big swim bait on a technique that I've never done before. I mean, if you were to tell me in the States, yeah, these smallmouth are 35 feet down and the water's 50, I'd be like, we could drop shot them. I mean, I've never really done that drift fishing for them and it's really cool. Everyone does it up here. So that's just a Simcoe thing. So I'm glad I learned that and was able to share that with you guys. Definitely be sure to check out this man right here. He's an awesome dude funny guy and an incredible fisherman that is being so hospitable to me and allowing me to come up here and fish and provide this content for you guys last days tomorrow hoping for a six pounder